Yeah, well, let's start by explaining that this is grant money. That means these small businesses do not have to pay it back. And after a really tough 2020, small business owners say this can't come soon enough as they try to stay afloat. On Mondays, Lauren Fink roasts the coffee she'll later sell at her uptown shop. We're seeing an uptick in people, you know, that now that the vaccinations are around. So I'm just hoping that that keeps going and the new normal happens sooner than later. Because last year, the pandemic impacted more than her bottom line. I got COVID at the end of March, which is why we had to close for two weeks. But it's scary when everything's at a halt, nothing's coming in, you know. She applied for the Restaurant Revitalization Fund, which will award more than $28 billion in federal grants. The money would mean she can keep her employees. They are the people who serve all of our customers and they've created a relationship with all of our customers. And so, yeah, I wanna keep them around and I wanna make sure that they're well taken care of. This fund in particular can be used for uh, a little more freely for other operating costs, um, you know, to, to pay for food and you know the ingredients and supplies you need which will help Brandon Blackwell who co-owns Elysian events catering with his wife coronavirus hit them hard too all those things either had to be uh, postponed or just outright canceled so whether it's roasting coffee or catering events business owners hope this money will get them to the end of the pandemic New Orleans we celebrate year round every year already anyway. So that's what we're looking forward to is getting just getting back to that. And so you may be asking yourself what makes the restaurant revitalization fund different than PPP, for example. We'll have the answer coming up at six for now reporting live on Magazine Street and Morgan Lentis WDSU News.